Today is day seven, 17. Today's day 17. Uh, yeah. Uh, yesterday, a bunch of douchebags tried to take our house, and I think they were probably just going to shoot us. So I ended up using the radio at a really high frequency and it ended up having one of those alien ships come kind of I, I don't know what I was thinking I was thinking about maybe just creating a diversion but obviously they blew up the house and everything's gone there they blew up a couple of those douchebags and I know Monica and I shot a few of them also I uh, I don't know if there were any or of them left but we just kept walking and walking I walked for like eight or nine miles yesterday uh, on the way we stopped and we got that that uh, that bucket that we had stashed I'm really glad that we put that down because now at least we got food I mean I know about wild edibles but there's oftentimes not a lot of calories out in the woods unless you you know can hunt and catch some things so we're going to be working on that. Uh, well, Monica's grabbing some, some water from the stream right now. Um, my job is there's just so many bugs here. We're going to start a small fire. That'll get the bugs down because um, they're just really awful right now. And, um, yeah, I uh, also on the way out, uh, uh, speaking of fire, we, we saw a bunch of people's firewood. I, it was like a, a camp where people had been collecting it. I didn't see anywhere nearby. We grabbed. I didn't grab any firewood because, I mean, that firewood's... I mean, it's all over the place here. <laughs> um, but uh, I just I grabbed the tarp, and it made me realize I, I never had any plastic sheeting or any or tarp or anything in my in my everyday carry bag, you know. Or uh, uh, and we didn't put any in that bucket either. I had some in in some like camping bags, but I, I didn't grab any of those when we ran out. It was just you know bag, whatever we had on us, and that was it. Uh, I felt a little unprepared uh, in that regard, but I'm glad we came across that, I mean, because we could have worked without a tarp, but it makes it a lot easier. So anyway, I was going to start a fire. Ah, on the way, on the way uh, walking yesterday, I grabbed just a bunch of this. It's a white birch bark. Uh, this stuff burns super, super easily. It's like a, there's a natural wax in it. Uh, I didn't, when I found like a tree, there's plenty of them around here. I just peel off what was kind of hanging off of it. Uh, you know, if you peel off too much, you can kill the tree. I don't want to do that. I mean, there's no need. There's plenty of it. So, um, so I, I collected this, and it'll make it really easy to start a fire here. I also just kind of grabbed some, some dead, dry sticks on the way, and there's just, there's just leaves everywhere here. Now I'm going to start a fire, and I'm going to need to tend it, because otherwise it'll start into a, a forest fire here. Now, I, I don't even need all of these. Just, just one of these should be fine. Ugh. God, the bugs are awful. Like I said the other day, you know, Bugborne diseases are the problem. Okay, so I'm gonna place this here. We've had a lot of rain recently, as I've been mentioning. Uh, there's no more snow left on the ground, but uh, there is uh, there is a lot of wetness. So, not that worried about it spreading out of control, but uh, I am a little concerned about all these leaves. Hopefully, they're dry enough. So, I got the birch bark on the bottom. Some of these dryish leaves from the top here. I'm kind of collecting around because I'm gonna have to clear out this area. And. Uh, and I'm going to take all these little sticks and break them into tiny pieces. Now, before I really go crazy with this, I'm going to get that piece lit on the bottom. Got a lighter that was just in my pack. Okay, that stuff lights up super easy. And now all I have to do is keep the flame moving through some nice open scaffold of sticks. And we're just collecting these dry leaves, placing them on top. And you want to kind of create some layers of sticks and leaves so that the air can come up all through it. There we go. The fire is going to spread out of this area, but I'll stomp it out as it goes, and that'll uh, create a natural sort of uh, fire barrier once you burn off all the burnable stuff. Already, the bugs have already cleared out. Having a small fire is super, super helpful to clear out insects. You can see that smoke, meaning it's damp material. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just layering the sticks with the leaves because if you just put a bunch of leaves on there they're going to kind of flatten out together and the air won't get up through them but if you kind of layer sticks and leaves and sticks and leaves it gives a bunch of passageways for the, uh, the air to get through. Some more leaves. There we go. It's starting to spread out a little bit at this point, so I'm going to have to start thinking about controlling the size of this fire. This one's really big. This is going to take a while before this thing burns, but it'll it'll provide some support to hold up all the, the leaves and things to put over it. Also, just getting the smoke on yourself is going to act as a, a bug deterrent for whatever reason. The Native Americans call it smudging. And they did it for a lot of ritualistic purposes, but one very practical purpose is that ah, the bugs don't like the smell. <laughs> oh, I love the smell of campfires. This is actually just getting my spirits up having a fire right now. Because, I mean, surprisingly, I was a little depressed this morning. <laughs> I, we didn't get hardly any sleep last night, as you can imagine. Okay, so this is definitely starting to be a fire here. I'll we'll start putting some bigger stuff on there. Ugh. All right, so the next step after this, and I, I'm gonna have to tend this pretty uh, continuously uh, while, it, uh, uh, while it begins because this is gonna have uh, a real tendency to, uh, to put itself out, you know, with all this wet stuff. I'm gonna have to keep coming over here and blowing on it. But the next thing that I'm going to be, whew, that's a lot of smudging. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to be working on is uh, putting a shelter together because uh, that will help if you know it starts raining or anything, and the tarp is going to be super helpful for that. The fire is going reasonably well now. I have to keep checking on it and adding more fuel, but it seems stable. The bugs have really cleared out. It's much more comfortable than it was before. And I've decided that this area over here is specifically where I want to put our shelter. Uh, what I, the reason I chose this is it's reasonably f uh, flat. It's kind of elevated uh, um, above the other areas. And you want flat because it's better for sleeping. You want elevated so if it rains you're not in the middle of a puddle. And it also has this nice big tree that I can use to tie things off to this tree over here, and uh, what I'm going to do is just run a line, a line from here down to there, run the tarp over it, and then I'm going to stake it down, and this tree here is going to get the axe because I'm going to use this one as a stakes. This is a nice, strong, uh, I don't know what kind of tree this is. I'm not sure. You don't have to know exactly what things are in order to utilize them. I've seen these trees around, though. They're uh, really rugged, and uh, I'll be able to hammer this in using my Kukuri blade, which I am so thankful that I ended up putting in my pack like I was planning to the other day. So many times you plan to do something and you don't do it. I'm really glad that I actually did it. So I'm going to cut some stakes off this and then I'm going to get going on building a shelter right here. So I'm recording my thoughts again. Um, I'm not sure why we're out here and what our goal is really. You know, there is a hospital we could have gone to and I think that might have been a better plan. And I really don't know what we're doing out here. I'm not sure that it's safe at all. The first thing I have to do is run a basic spine for the shelter and I took some of this uh, power cord that I had in my bag, which I'm really glad that I had in my bag, and I'm going to run this as a spine. I tied it up to this large tree over here and now I'm taking the other part of it and made a little loop here, put a stake that I sharpened uh, from that, that, uh, that tree and I'm getting it nice and taut. It can take a lot of weight digging it into the ground, and now I'm going to use the Kukuri blade 
and use this surface here as kind of a hammer to pound it in. I guess I could do it like this too, but I feel like if I miss, I'll hit my hand. So this is a little safer. All right, so now this is nice and taut, and I'm gonna be able to run the tarp right over on top of this. You want it to be kind of low because you want your profile to be pretty close to the ground. That'll allow wind to go up and over it. It won't um, be as visible being, being as high. And also you have a smaller space on the inside to, uh, to heat with your warmth. So making it as compact as possible is just going to make the environment in there easier to make comfortable. To tighten up the corners, what I've got is these small sticks that fit right through the little grommet holes in the end. And I'm just going to stick those in there and hammer them in, just like I did the others. Got my hand down here to kind of guide it in, and I'm just lightly tapping it down in there. So that's pretty snug. I'm going to go around and I'm going to do a few of the other corners, and I'm going to leave one a little higher so it makes it a little easier for us to get in and out. And that's that. Pretty simple, very rudimentary, but it'll keep us dry if it rains tonight. It'll, it's even going to keep the, the wind from blowing around us. It'll help to keep some warmth in there. To that end, I'm thinking about adding some stones. I'm going to run stones along all the edges to keep wind from getting up under there. We can even get some bushes and kind of fill in this end. Uh, and also along those lines, I'm thinking about putting some light branches and things like that. Nothing too heavy, but as camouflage over the top in case anybody passes through this area it would uh, you know, allow us to maybe go unnoticed. Is it as good as my house? Absolutely not, but it's a hell of a lot better than nothing. Uh, I'm gonna run some stones in the fire today, warm them up, we can bring warm stones in there. Really need a good night's sleep tonight because we did not sleep at all last night. And then we just start making this kind of a, I don't wanna say a new home, but we need to start establishing this as a camp until we can figure out what we're going to do next. And one of the first order of businesses along those lines is food. We've only got so much in that bucket. And uh, I know a lot of wild edibles, but there are not a lot of calories out here in the woods. Unless you start hunting and trapping. And as a vegetarian, it's not that surprising that I don't, I don't have an enormous amount of experience with that. You gotta do what you gotta do. Home sweet home. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.